Hi everyone, today's video is all about sleep and sleeping and how to get to sleep and how to get quality sleep. Now, you may remember if you've been following me for a while, I did a video about three years ago called How to Hibernate and that was all about um, going to bed early in the winter months, cozying up, kind of creating a lovely little nest for yourself and getting as much sleep as possible. Now, things have changed since then. You might be able to hear in the background, I've got my baby here, and so my sleep is now kind of dictated, at least for the moment, by when my baby sleeps. So it's not really about how much sleep I get, but the quality of the sleep. So today I thought that I'd go through some top tips. I've got three top tips from a sleep and stress management um, expert at the Nightingale Hospital. Her name's Dr. Narina, so I'm gonna go through those. And I've also got here um, Olay's ambassador and top facialist, Anastasia Achilleos, and she's gonna show us an amazing bedtime face massage. So let's get started. Now the first tip from Dr. Narina is to take a warm bath which is probably a tip that we're all quite familiar with, but she does say that if you tend to get warm at night, don't take a hot bath too close to bedtime, take it earlier on in the evening. And she also says that if you want a really deeply relaxing bath, then to use Epsom salts or bicarbonate of soda and soak in it for at least 15 minutes and it's a really good way of preparing for a deep sleep. And Dr. Narina also recommends making the bedroom a technology-free zone. So no watching television in bed, making sure that the iPad uh, iPhone, Blackberry, laptop, whatever it is that you're using is outside of the bedroom and not using technology for about an hour to an hour and a half before you want to go to sleep. Right, <laughs> I am now in bed with Anastasia and she's going to show us the lights yeah. out facial massage. I like the fact that we can do this lying down. Well, since I've become a mum, I found that in the early years of the kids, I spent most of my time in the bed. Kind yeah. of with all my stuff in the bed. Yeah, so me. Did. Water bottles, chocolate Laptops, bars, books. moisturizer. The only thing that wasn't in the bed was my other half. Yeah, same here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. laying down also makes sense that part of relaxation should be starting to take these nice deep breaths, and that's only logical that you would do that laying down as opposed yeah. to standing up. It's not a yoga class, it's kind of lights out before you go to bed. So one of the first things we do is just to really get present to your breathing. Right? So, hands on chest. Take some nice deep breaths. Nice deep breath in. Exhale through the nose or the mouth. So we're warming up our lovely Olay Regenerous 3-point age-defying night cream for the warm-up. all over the hands and we do this nice 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and we place it right directly onto our face and just hold it there. Have you got your hands on top? Just hold there. You, know, you can almost feel the energy between your hands and mm. your face. So, skin energy. <laughs> oh, she agrees. <laughs> Our first movement is sliding fingers down to the chin, down past your temples, past your ears. And then we're going to come back up into the middle through here. Lovely. So we're going to do this for about 20 seconds. And it's really quite nice and slow. And when we come back up, we're going through the centre of the face. And then the next move. Place your hands where they were before, over the face. But now slide your palms and bring them up until they cup your cheekbones so you feel as though you are pushing and lifting your cheekbones upwards to your forehead and from there every 10 seconds you want to move outward towards your ears and hold and it's quite a firm pressure now your next move we want to release tension across the eye area of course that's also an area that we're constantly looking at these gadgets yeah and frowning and so we pinch 
just in the lovely 10 seconds 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and we move across when you get to the end we're going to do some lovely I call them lovely because they do feel lovely little round circles by the temples taking a final nice deep breath I'm really realising that the rest of the body has relaxed along with it it's not fidgeting, you're not asleep, you're awake you're able to receive the relaxation mm. I feel less tired, weirdly Yeah. it's stimulating but it's also it's relaxing it's relaxing yeah. and this comes back to this whole idea of quality sleep doesn't it? It's not just about passing out because you're so exhausted. Yeah, because normally you don't actually appreciate the level of relaxation. Mm. You're not absorbing that relaxation. And we want to. It's like a really good treatment. And then you fall asleep halfway and they wake you at the end and you say, <gasps> That was brilliant. This it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? So yeah. this links us really nicely with how can we get creams to do their job better, more effectively, breathing massaging, relaxation, and you should be waking up less puffy, less tired. Yeah. The, the cream's in a firm skin anyway, but what else can we be adding in? Mm -hmm. We're a generation of more, you know? We want more from everything. So, yeah. I love that. Lights out, really, with the mums. Now what tends to happen with me is that I've done all my lovely relaxing things, I've sprayed my pillow spray, I'm lying in bed, I've turned the lights off, and just as I'm about to go to sleep I think of loads of things that are really suddenly very important and that I mustn't forget. And it's the kind of thing that keeps you awake all night because you're just turning these things over and over in your head and Dr Noreena says that what you should do is get out of bed, go to a different room and write everything down on a list, pen and paper. Um, don't do it into your iPhone or a Blackberry because you shouldn't have them in the bedroom anyway but also as soon as you turn those on then you're looking at emails and you're getting distracted so just pen and paper. And I think that this is really good advice because it kind of puts a separation between the bedroom which is just for sleeping and relaxing and reality in a way which is you know, the waking hours when you've got loads of things to do and writing them down physically means that you just transfer them from your head onto paper and then you can forget about them until the morning. So it's a really nice tip, that one. So that's us ready for bed, isn't it? Hey? I'm going to be doing a blog post in a few weeks' time updating you with how I get on with my quality sleep tips and also my lights out facial um, before bed. So if you want to try out the tips too, then do so and let me know how you get on in the comments. And if you want to know more about the product that we used in the facial, then the link to that is in the information box below. Um, make sure you like and subscribe and I shall see you next time. <laughs>